Duchess of Diamonds, Meghan Markle has a sparkles collection of worth £1 million after receiving some very expensive wedding gifts and a loan from the Queen. Before meeting Prince Harry, Meghan Markle stuck to modest trinkets. Now she owns a collection of jewels worth £1 million. This includes her stunning £140,000 engagement ring and a £241,000 Cartier bracelet. Other dazzling items include the £450,000 tiara borrowed from the Queen, a glittering set of £60,000 earrings she received as a pre-wedding gift also belong in her jaw-dropping collection of jewels. Here's how Duchess of Diamonds, Meghan Markle sparkles. Engagement ring with Diana's jewels, £140,000, personally designed by Harry and made by royal jeweler Cleave and Company. The Duchess's engagement sparkler is by far the most magnificent in her collection. Set on a gold band, the central diamond, believed to be around 3 CT, was ethically sourced in Botswana, where the couple holidayed after only a few weeks of dating. The two round diamonds on either side come from a brooch that belonged to Harry's late mother, Princess Diana. In their blissfully happy engagement interview last November, Harry said the decision to incorporate Diana's stones would ensure that she's with us on this crazy journey together. Leading jeweler David Marshall estimates the ring's value at £140,000, but high street store Argos sells a cut-price version, the Meghan Sparkle, for just £14.99. Dripping with diamonds for her A-list reception. £60,000. From the same collection as her jagged edged wedding bracelet, these Cartier chandelier earrings are made from 18 CT white cold and are each set with 19 round diamonds totaling 0.81 CT and 10 rectangular stones totaling 1.08 CT. All in all, that's 58 stunning sparklers dangling from Meghan's ears. Swirl studs to bling up a black dress. £1,350. Business like in black for a female empowerment event in London in April, Meghan chose these pretty diamond earrings made by Burks, her favorite Canadian jeweler, to jazz up her Jack Yo inspired pencil dress. The £1,350 studs, made from 18 CT white gold and decorated with swirls of miniature diamonds, are designed to enchant. Much like everything Meghan wears, the earrings are now sold out on most retailers' websites. Simple silver roses for a new duchess, £1,395. For her first outing as a duchess, at a Buckingham Palace garden party to mark Prince Charles' 70th birthday last week, Meghan appeared to have acquired another new pair of dazzling diamonds. These Idealaro's earrings, by Belgian designer Vanessa to Gentaft are made from rhodium silver and paved with tiny diamonds totaling 0.43 CT. They elegantly complemented her sleek chignon and jauntily angled Philip Tracy hat. The ring that's a sign of everlasting love, £1,130. Meghan loves symbolic jewelry, from the African bracelet that matched Harry's, to the H&M necklace she wore early in their relationship. And this infinity ring, from Vanessa to Gendhaf's Promess line, is a sign of everlasting love. She wore the piece, which is made from 18 CT yellow gold and set with 0.25 CT diamonds arranged in the shape of the mathematical symbol for infinity, to Belfast in March and again to the Invictus Games trials the following month. The cross to mark her confirmation, 520 pounds. Days after she was baptized and confirmed by the Archbishop of Canterbury in March. Meghan began wearing this delicate diamond bracelet. It is believed to be a gift from the royal family for joining the Church of England, a pre-marriage requirement. The dainty piece, by Vanessa to Gentaft, comprises an 18 CT white gold chain with a central cross, set with 16 0.08 CT diamonds. At just £520, it's one of her cheaper pieces. A golden clover chain for love. 770 pounds. This minimalist necklace by Vanessa to Gendhaft was Meghan's lucky charm at the Invictus Games trial in April, adding some royal worthy dazzle to her causal khaki coat. It features an 18 CT gold chain set with solitaire diamonds and is intended to be worn day and night. Ethical gems to glam up a royal outing. 450 pounds. The Duchess has worn Zofia Day's triangle shaped studs twice, 
once for her landmark interview with Vanity Fair in October 2017 and again for a royal outing in Cardiff in January. The Californian brand prides itself on ethically sourced stones. These 450 pounds earrings are encrusted with 0.06 CT diamonds, hidden sparkle on her wrist. 995 pounds. Dressed head to toe in navy for the Queen's birthday concert in April, Meghan couldn't resist adding some signature sparkle to her look. The piece, a silver and yellow gold bangle by edgy British designer Sean Lean was subtly studded with diamonds totaling 0.13 CT at one end. Ice with a wintry theme to remind her of Canada, 6,950 pounds. Smiling and relaxed in a chic, white shirt as she left Windsor Castle just days before her wedding, the soon-to-be duchess didn't miss her chance to shine, showing off this brand new pair of 2.15 CT diamond-studded white gold earrings. Yet another design from Meghan's favorite Canadian brand Burks, these snowstorm earrings are said to be inspired by the icy beauty of Canadian winters, perhaps not so apt for a sunny May day. At 6,950 pounds, they don't come cheap, so Meghan made sure they were seen by sweeping her hair behind her ears. Glittering pre-wedding present she adores, 60,000 pounds. Meghan was first seen sporting these 18 CT white gold galantry de carrier earrings in April at a reception to celebrate the Invictus Games, Harry's sports tournament for injured servicemen and women. She adores them so much she wore them again on her wedding day and they are believed to have been a pre-wedding present from Harry. Yet another gift from her besotted groom, 17,700 pounds. Adorning her wrist at her new father-in-law's birthday celebrations was this diamond tennis bracelet, believed to be another present from her Prince Charming. Although the exact make is unknown, it looks remarkably like the £17,700 Cartier Essential Lines bracelet, made from 18 CT white gold and set with 61 brilliant cut diamonds. If so, it would be a touching tribute to Diana, who adored Cartier jewelry and owned an almost identical piece. A precious Cartier bracelet for the bride, £241,000. Against the splendor of her Givenchy gown. Her reflection de Cartier bracelet almost went unnoticed. Made from 18 CT white gold and set with more than 100 diamonds, it is designed to create breathtaking radiance and light. There are two versions of this bracelet, one costing a staggering £241,000, but Meghan's may well have been bespoke. The stacking ring she wears everywhere, £865. She's flashed it out and about in Edinburgh and on stage in London for a charity event. This yellow gold and diamond ring, by her go-to Canadian jeweler Burks, is one of Meghan's everyday staples. Costing £865, the band, made from her favorite metal, comes from the Burks Splash collection and is designed to be stacked, that is, worn on the same finger as several other rings. Right on trend for this fashion-forward duchess. Subtle jeweled studs imported from India, £375. These pared-down studs by Los Angeles fine jeweler Dean Yaretter, are made from a curved piece of 14 CT yellow gold and feature a trio of 0.15 CT diamonds. Called the Three Diamond Amigos, they cost £375 and are imported from India. Meghan chose the earrings for a Commonwealth Day service in March, adding a touch of flair and sparkle to her sensible white Amanda Wackley coat and Stephen Jones beret. The stacking ring she wears everywhere, 865 pounds. She's flashed it out and about in Edinburgh and on stage in London for a charity event. This yellow gold and diamond ring, by her go-to Canadian jeweler Burks, is one of Meghan's everyday staples. Costing 865 pounds, the band, made from her favorite metal, comes from the Burks Splash collection and is designed to be stacked, that is, worn on the same finger as several other rings. Right on trend for this fashion-forward duchess. Subtle jeweled studs imported from India, £375. These pared-down studs, by Los Angeles fine jeweler Dean Yaretter, are made from a curved piece of 14 CT yellow gold and feature a trio of 0.15 CT diamonds. Called the Three Diamond Amigos, they cost £375 and are imported from India. Meghan chose the earrings for a Commonwealth Day service in March adding a touch of flair and sparkle to her sensible white Amanda Wackley coat and Stephen Jones beret. Snow-inspired sparklers for Christmas.
5,250 pounds. Flying the flag once again for Canada, her adopted home from 2011 to 2017, Meghan chose these snowflake earrings by Burks for several festive engagements with the royal family last year including the Queen's Christmas lunch and a church outing in Sandringham on Christmas Day. The 5,250 pounds earrings, designed to capture the brilliance of freshly fallen snow, are made from 18 CT white gold and each feature two round cut diamonds surrounded by a circle of smaller diamonds, totaling 1.39 CT.